Well, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Deb Rosebaum. I'm a GIS solutions engineer with Geocom. I've been in uh, GIS for public safety for my entire career, 16 years, uh, really being able to focus in on the GIS needs for public safety systems, both current uh, systems today and next gen 911. I've done everything from being a specialist or analyst, building the data, analyzing the data, up to managing teams and projects, and most recently out in Oregon uh, with our West Coast office, taking the management of that before switching over to a solutions engineer role and helping to design the project approaches that we uh, that we submit for various projects around the country and just um, trying to find that right balance of, of needs, requirements, solutions, and uh, that comes into play with industry involvement as well in the various work groups. And what I want to talk about uh, starting off is that for those of you that are already aware or may maybe you've heard this a bunch of times, maybe this is a new concept for you, but GIS is really the, the key in NextGen 911. It's the foundational element that is going to be responsible for the routing of live 911 calls. So the things that you're used to interacting with today as far as your GIS data and synchronization with MSAG and Alley and all of those databases that are routing your call will eventually transition and into a live NG environment. They will uh, fade off and GIS really takes the place and the responsibility of routing those live 911 calls. So the systems that you're used to uh, maintain as a GIS professional in the and supporting the PSAP today, that's going to evolve and take on more responsibility and some more, um, you know, different different needs and requirements in an action environment. And we just want to make sure that we cover that in a way that hopefully makes sense and is approachable to you. And the, the next slide that we look at uh, has a quote that really brings to the forefront what NG911 is um, just at its core foundational element. It is meant to be a network of networks. So the quote is, the future state of NG911 as a nationwide capability involves moving from approximately 6,000 independent operations to a system of approximately 6,000 interconnected and interoperable operations. And that's really key in this, is this concept of interoperability and building this network of networks or a fabric of connectivity and data that spreads across the country. And at the core of that network of networks and what's fueling all of that connectivity is GIS data. And that data is, is it becomes very critical that it is not only accurate and up to date, but also built to the standard. Because the only way to achieve that type of connectivity is, and that, that data that can truly spread across the country is if everybody builds to, a, to the NINA standard to, uh, to facilitate that type of you know, whether it's call transfers and, and various things that you're going to need to information and data that you're going to need to send across that network, uh, building your data to the standard and making sure that you have processes in place to keep it up to date and accurate are just vital, can't be emphasized enough.